So I know that there are a lot of progressives that feel really demoralized that Elizabeth Warren, who is their second or third choice in this race, has decided to smear Bernie Sanders, go on the negative three weeks before Iowa. I get that that's disappointing, but I wanted to remind everyone what's at stake here and who is our true target, because this is the way that I view the situation. Even though it's demoralizing and frustrating, albeit unsurprising, the main target is still Joe Biden, because we cannot allow this distraction to take away from what Joe Biden should be dealing with right now. He should be defending his record. It shouldn't be Bernie Sanders. He's the one who should be defending his record because he is a weak candidate with a horrible record who would absolutely lose to Donald Trump. Now, the reason why I think the focus needs to be on Joe Biden and why we can't get distracted by Elizabeth Warren shenanigans is because he still is the front runner. So when you look at aggregate polling data, according to Real Clear Politics polling averages, he is still in the lead nationally, and he is 8.5 points ahead of Bernie Sanders overall. Now, going to early primary states like Iowa and New Hampshire, believe it or not, even though Bernie Sanders came out on top of a poll from the Des Moines Register, well, Joe Biden is climbing in Iowa and him and Bernie Sanders are statistically tied. Joe Biden, on average, is polling higher than Bernie Sanders. He's at 20.7 and Bernie Sanders is at 20.3. So this is incredibly close. And I don't want there to be another situation where they essentially tie in Iowa like they did in 2016. I want Bernie to win outright. Now, when you look at New Hampshire, all of a sudden, Joe Biden seems to be surging, for lack of a better word. It actually pains me to say that. But when you look at his numbers, he's been on the rise, and he is now in the lead overall. He's sitting at 23.3 to Bernie's 22.3. So he's a whole point ahead of Bernie Sanders. This isn't a huge lead. But regardless, when you take into account the fact that Joe Biden is also pulling ahead in Nevada, and he has a huge lead in South Carolina, we can't afford to take our eye off the prize currently. Because if Joe Biden wins Iowa and New Hampshire, there's a very, very good chance he wins this whole thing. He becomes the nominee. And then if that happens, we all know what to expect. Uh, Donald Trump is probably going to get four more years because I can't see a situation where Joe Biden excites enough people to get out the vote. So this is what's at stake here losing to Donald Trump, if we allow Elizabeth Warren to distract us when we should be going after Joe Biden, then we are doing the establishment's work for them. Because Elizabeth Warren is not going to win this nomination. Odds are she is not going to emerge victorious in early primary states, and she's probably not going to win. I mean, that's what the polling indicates currently. Now, that could change, but at this point in time, she's not doing well, and she's getting desperate. You can tell she knows that she's not doing well. So we need to focus on Joe Biden, and we all have to drive that point home. To anyone that we know, our relatives, if they support Joe Biden, we have to let them know this individual not just has a horrible record, but he's going to lose if he faces off against Donald Trump in 2020. So we need to stop that from happening and acknowledge that there are going to be distractions from the media and Elizabeth Warren, but we have to stay focused and not get bogged down by that, right? It's difficult, and I get bogged down by it myself, admittedly, but we have to realize that Joe Biden is still the number one target because he's stronger than a lot of us anticipated. He has that support, and a lot of it is based on the fact that voters just, you know, they're nostalgic for the Obama years, he has the most name recognition, and they believe that he's the most electable against Donald Trump. We have to educate them, and we have to make sure that we do everything we can to stop Joe Biden, because like it or not, he's still in the lead, he's still a front runner, and we have to make sure we deny him victories in Iowa and New Hampshire. I cannot stress this enough. If Joe Biden wins Iowa... Imagine what the media narrative would be, and I don't want to catastrophize too much because I don't think that that's very healthy, but I just want to put this into perspective. We can't let Joe Biden win Iowa. We can't. We are, you know, really close to clutching victory here. Bernie Sanders can win these states, but it's not over, and we have to put in the work. We have to put our pedals to the floor and go, 
150%. If we were doing 100%, we've got to go 150%. Make more calls for Bernie. Knock on more doors for, for Bernie. Donate another dollar or two to Bernie Sanders. Now is the time that we all come together and we fight for Bernie and we make sure that people know about Joe Biden's horrible record because he is not out of this. Do not discount him and, you know, never underestimate your opponent. Biden can still win. And for whatever reason, he's climbing in early primary states again after dipping. So we've got to stop that and we've got to beat Biden. Let's all try to make sure that whenever these types of things happens, we keep things in a perspective and acknowledge what our real goal should be. Right now, Elizabeth Warren, she's a non-issue. It's Joe Biden. Beta male, not a beta male.